talk us through this case study. Yeah, so um, we recently did a case study for Bee Ninjas, which is a they're an online um, book uh, book. Well, they're an accounting firm, and they help uh, e-commerce businesses with. Um, growth, look, their financials, let's just put it that way. They have bookkeeping service, they've got financial advisory and all kinds of services. But um, when I was approached to do this case study, basically uh, I set up a time to interview Jesse, who runs a, uh, I think the SaaS product, um, helping e-commerce suppliers. Uh, and then, so if you pay attention to how this is broken down, it literally, this is the seven steps in, in, in practice, right? So we start off with the headline and you can see straight away, right? The headline is focused on a key metric, which is time, right? So with, um, and being that this is, this is for an accounting firm, typically what happens with accounting firms and, and, and some people can probably resonate with this is uh, some businesses don't want to share their financials publicly, right? So um, this particular client didn't want to talk about, you know, we generate a million dollars in revenue and all these things that they didn't want to talk about as numbers. Um, and that's fine, right? Uh, uh, but what they were willing to talk about was, so then I had to look at, okay, well, what were the, the benefits beyond, you know, you, you had a 3X in revenue or whatever, you know, we saved you, you know, thousands of dollars in expenses. Um, we looked at, okay, uh, what was the, the main problem that you had? And he basically said, well, pre, prior to working with this, with being injured, he um, had outsourced to a, a firm in, in India um, and had them for a while. Uh, then what he realized was around tax time when the accountant was saying, okay, now we've got to submit, you know, um, your stuff at ATO. Um, they basically said, your books are a mess and you're going to have to go back through your books and look at all the transactions that for the last 12 months and clean it up, all right? Um, and that's the last thing you want to hear when you've just hired a bookkeeping firm to actually take care of your books for you for the last 12 months. Uh, and so um, he was in this really, you know, undesirable situation of having to actually go into his zero and, and look at his books um, you know for I think it's like a couple of hours a month or whatever it was and, and he didn't want it and like yeah I gotta understand as a business owner he didn't want to do that like he's like I don't want to do that I'm, I didn't train as a bookkeeper or an accountant you know I, I'm not uh, that was a challenge and so you know through the interview process what came out to, what came to was um, something that he said right at the end of the interview which was you know because uh, I said, what's changed for you since since you started this? And he just went, you know what? I get this email once a month, right? In the email, there's a checklist of things I need to look at. And it literally takes me five minutes to go into to, into the tool. Um, and I'm, I've done I'm done, done with my books for the month, right? Uh, and now all that time I'm not in the books, I'm now spending, uh, I'm focusing on sales, you know, and growing the company. Uh, and that's what it was, right? So then we got, that's the headline. We then went into his, you know, us profiling. So let's go through the P's. So we had the headline, and then we've got the profile of the customer. You know, we talk about Jesse as the entrepreneur, but we also talk about Bento, his company, um, and what they do, right? Um, we go into the challenge, okay? So you can literally see with the, the way I uh, use the headings, I'm, I'm actually using, like calling out these are the headings. The challenge, we go into, you know, like a breakdown, he's, he's talking about the outsource team in India, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we're also looking at, you know, uh, what else was going on for him, you know, at that time. So we, we detailed that. We get into the solution. Okay, at this point, I go back to be ninjas so of my client and I go, um, can you give me a breakdown? Can, I, can we talk to one of your accountants who worked on the file and break down everything that they did? Um, and they literally did that. So they gave me, these were the things that happened. Uh, and my role as the, the writer on this was to translate it and try to remove as much of the jargon as possible because it's <laughs> the, the challenge here is it can get very technical very quickly. Um, but we went to, okay, here, here were the key phases, here were the things that were, were done, right? So you can see here's the expertise right there, like the reconciling accounts, setting up bank statements, all these things, right? And as someone reading this, I'm going, well, I don't, it's good for me to know this, but I'm not gonna do it. I, I, I'm not going to do this, right? So um, that's the solution. We get into the results, right? Um, so here we, we get into the payoff, what I call the payoff in the, in the framework. Um, you know, the, the, the books were the cleanest they've ever been. We've got statements. So embedded within this are quotes that are coming directly from the client, okay? So this is important for the authenticity. And remember, it's about the client. It's not not about us telling the story. Um, it's more about, okay, this is what the client's saying of the experience, right? Um, and so we kind of mix the two and then we get down to the end. There's even a tweet that he did afterwards where he actually recommended the business on Twitter. Um, 
and, and so I, I embedded that or got the our, our uh, WordPress person to embed that into into the article, and then the call to action is down the bottom, right? So, you know, what what's going to happen next? So that's that's all there, and that's the format. Now I want to give you the the follow up from what happened with this. So once we we completed this and published it on on the site, um, B Ninjas actually went out and tweeted this, uh, you know, this article. Um, out onto their Twitter profile and they tagged the client into that tweet, right? And guess what happened? Jesse actually, he actually actually retweeted the, the, the tweet and then someone that was following him responded immediately and said, actually, they read the case study and they said within a few minutes, they said, actually, I need this too. I'm gonna book a call with Beanie just right now. Um, and that's actually, and then a week later, they became a client, right? So that's, this uh, little- The perfect yeah. scenario, right? Right, I, I, I mean, this is not, this is, now let me say this doesn't happen all the time, but uh, you know this is, was a really good example of how uh, when, a, when a story is shared in this way, it can literally lead to a lead generation sort of activity, but also a sale, right? So um, anyway, I hope that's a good example for you.